Hey everybody, I'm Norm. And I'm Kim. And welcome to Mountain Beaches. We're headed off to Washington, D.C. for a little vacation. It's a vacation we've been planning for a while and we're so excited. Neither one of us have ever been to Washington, D.C. before. The downside of this trip is we're heading right into the middle of a nor'easter storm that's supposed to be hitting about the time our plane lands tonight. So we'll see how that goes. about an hour and a half from the airport so it's a bit of a drive we end up leaving about three hours before our flight and that gives us time to get to the airport park the car get to security get through security find our gate and not have to rush luckily we've got uh, TSA pre-approved for our flight today so that'll speed things up some so we're looking forward to that and last time I checked there were four first class seats available and we were numbers three and four on the upgrade list. So keeping those fingers crossed that. So I guess what uh, Washington DC considers a huge storm uh, is gonna be like maybe three to five inches of snow. We live in Utah and we get uh, snow like that all the time. It's not really any big deal. But from what I hear, everything pretty much shuts down in Washington DC. And so our tours tomorrow have been canceled and we're uh, kind of scrambling to figure out uh, what we're gonna do tomorrow. And maybe we'll just go out and make some snow angels. Sound like fun? Sounds like great fun. <laughs> okay, we'll figure out something, I'm sure. Did it. We got upgraded to first class. Yay! <laughs> hey, we're back. We yeah. braved the bitter cold and it is snowing and sleeting and hailing and it's just cold, but we walked our way over to the White House. You can see it in the background. We uh, went through the American History Museum at the Smithsonian and we now need to go find someplace warm. Very warm. <laughs> well, we've had a lot of fun and it's been an adventure and it's what we like to do. We like to brave the, brave the weather when we need to. We don't let us, it stop us and it's been a great day. We're gonna come back out tomorrow. Yeah, I was a little disappointed that uh, President Trump didn't have red carpet rolled out for us waiting for us to stop by, but next time. You are silly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we are, day two, and we are on our way to the Metro stop. We have a tour at the Capitol building, and then walking tour of DC area, uh, mainly the mall, and so we'll see how that goes. We're looking forward to a, a nice day. It's cold and, and blustery, but not snowing. So yeah, look, how, look at blue skies. We've got blue skies, so that's something to look forward to today. Hope it's gonna be a good day, I'm sure it will, and catch you later.
location at Mount Vernon, where he had a very successful farming, fishing, and whiskey distilling company. He was really popular with the neighbors. But as a young nation, uh, we were struggling. We had been so adamant about not appointing someone to the sole position of power in case we somehow accidentally turned to the monarch, like the one that we had just left in Britain. But finally, Congress unanimously vowed to George Washington to be our very first president. Well, it's obviously a different season yeah. <laughs> than what we show are showing on the YouTube video this time. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're bringing you a trip we took to Washington, D.C. that took place a little over a year ago in March of 2018. And uh, we're just getting around to discovering that footage <laughs> and thought we'd put it together for you on this Memorial Day weekend uh, trip to Washington, D.C. Yep. So it was our first trip to Washington DC and something that we were looking forward to doing actually for quite a few years and my cousin lived in Washington DC and he was going to be moving fairly soon he said if you're going to come out and visit me and he was in the FBI so it was kind of nice to go see the FBI headquarters while we're there but yeah that was really cool to yeah but he said, you know, if you're going to come, you better come now. So we did. We did. We hopped on a plane. We made a, a week-long trip out of it. And uh, three days was three days in Washington, D.C. And then we went and yep. visited friends. And uh, it was just a great trip. We saw so many things. Uh, I was really excited to, I was, to go it, see. Yep. It was things that living on the West Coast... You know, you hear about and all the kids in fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade on the East Coast as part of their, what they do, they take a trip to Washington, D.C. And we just never had that opportunity, so. No, too far away, but a place I've always wanted to go. I've always wanted to see the White House. I've always wanted to see the, the Washington Monument and the Lincoln Memorial. Just all the things that you, you hear of and are so iconic for our country and uh, you know the war memorials and arlington cemetery it, there's just so much and so much history so much history and honestly three days just didn't even we didn't even scratch the surface no, but no. it's what we had and we look forward to going back yeah we happened to uh we were trying to time it so it'd be just perfect for the cherry blossoms <laughs> And you know what they say we about missed. best laid plans. <laughs> we arrived the night of a major northeastern storm and the entire city was shut down. Yep. So it, it was, was pretty hilarious. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but uh, we were brave and we went out and braved the storm anyway. Yeah. First day was bitter cold. <laughs> oh man, was it cold. Yep. And there was a few inches of snow on the ground, and most everything was closed down. But we were able to go into the Smithsonian, um, and that was, part of it was open. We were able to, to see the American History Museum portion, and that was awesome. Yep. And then we uh, braved it and wandered over to the White House and got a picture of us in front of the White House. That was awesome. We went back uh, the next day, I think it was, and we got some better pictures yep. in the sunshine but uh, just experiencing that, and uh, and then we had to go, we had to go uh, across the street and get a little beverage to warm us up because yes. we were so it was so, so cold. cold. <laughs> you would think being from Utah, we would be able to weather the cold a little bit better, better, but nope, it didn't happen. Yeah, it was. <laughs> We were shivering. There's one <laughs> one video segment where in front of the White House and and the camera is just, just a, a shake. shake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'll probably put that in. And and sorry about the bad quality, but it was just so cold. I, yep. I just was... couldn't help it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we got went and had a little adult beverage, warmed ourselves up. Yeah. And then where where did we go from there? Well, the next day we went back into. We got on the metro again and back into town and we had a tour a walking tour that day yes the uh, washington memorial and the lincoln uh, based the library yeah that was cool yeah. to go to the library library of congress Bas yep. basically we uh, we walked the mall 
yep. as they call it. And we saw the, the big sights that day, at least until we got again too cold and we we begged out of the the tour <laughs> before it was officially over. over. Yeah. But that was just really I don't know, I just loved it. It just uh, so much history in our country and that's where it all stems from. Yep. And so for me it was just awesome to go see all of that and I want to go back sometime. Yes, we need to go back. I've heard that going onto the mall in the evening with all the lights is spectacular and it was so cold we didn't get a chance yeah. to do that or didn't take the opportunity. Yeah. Um, it was something that was on our list but we scratched it off yeah. when it, and the we, temperatures. We scratched quite a few of the tours off or they scratched us off because it was they figured they just wouldn't have very many people show up. So, yes, definitely. I would love to go back, see it in more depth, take more time. Yeah. Yep. One thing I'm really sad that I missed, being a, a newbie on the, on the camera, um, President Trump's motorcade went past us with all the pomp and circumstance and, and yep. sirens blaring and sidecars and yeah, oh yeah <laughs> dozens and dozens of these sidecars and 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 dozens of black limos and yes. so you never know which one he's in but i know it was his motorcade you know it well, had the presidential seal and and i did the infamous turn the camera off instead of turning it on and i got zero, zero. footage of that i got a cup footage of a couple of other small little pr motorcades. Uh, motorcades of probably pretty unimportant people <laughs> but the one i really wanted to get was the motorcade of the president and nope i screwed up <laughs> <laughs> won't be I'm the sorry. last time <laughs> it was a great trip it was it we're was gonna really... have to put the next one on the calendar yeah i'm not sure when would when that would be but one of these days we'll get back there and uh Try and get back there when it's not a storm. <laughs> March, you would kind of <laughs> expecting better weather, but yeah, we was... were we were tracking the cherry blossoms. We were on the cherry blossom calendar. We fully expected them to bloom at about the time we had planned. You know, you can't all of a sudden up and decide to go. You have to get reservations. You have to notify work and blah blah blah. So yep, we did our best, and Mother yep. Nature said <laughs> took <"Nope."> over. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time. You are to have a different experience. <laughs> yeah, and we, and we did, and it was an amazing experience. Yep. You know, as long as we uh, could stay out and brave the cold, we we just had a, an amazing experience, and to me, it just touched my heart and and the history of the country and what our forefathers went through to to bring us the freedoms we have now and so one of the reasons we're actually wanting to release this video this weekend because it's memorial weekend and we kind of thought those two maybe tied in together uh, we went to arlington cemetery while we were there and again messed up on the video <laughs> so we don't have the video of the it's okay at the tomb of the unknown soldier it was very sobering oh wow Yes. And it really touched my heart. We do have some some pictures. We'll we'll share those with you. Um, but you know, here we are, Memorial Day weekend, and we just want to give a shout out and a thanks to all veterans. Uh, so appreciate what you've done for us, um, the freedoms that you help uh, maintain for us. My dad served in the Navy. He was a uh, naval aviator in World War II. He retired as a lieutenant commander in the Navy so uh, shout out to my dad who passed away about seven years ago and to all veterans uh, Kim's dad served in, uh, yeah, in the Korean War he was in the he was in the Navy as well mm -hmm. yeah he was shipbound and my dad was a pilot um, so yeah both of our dads served um, neither of us did but we're so grateful for all of you that have, and thank you. We thank love and you appreciate you. Thank you so much. You. We do. Tender place in our heart. Yep. So, well, here we go on with some more of the video. I hope you are, are enjoying it. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you like it, we encourage you to, to uh, subscribe to our channel, give the video a thumbs up, and ring the bell so you'll get notified when we release a new video. We try and do it every week. So thanks for following us. Uh, we love you guys. 
and uh, give us some comments tell us what you liked about Washington DC on your trips or or what your plans are for going there um, politics aside it's a great place so well thanks for joining and we'll catch you guys later see you later bye bye